The Food and Drugs Authority in the Volta region, under the leadership of the regional director, Gordon Akurugu, embarked on a sensitization exercise in the regional capital of Ho. Food vendors were educated on the need to acquire certification before engaging in business. They were also advised to operate in a hygienic environment to ensure their safety and that of their clients. Mr. Akurugu detailed the objectives of the No Street Vending Permit No Business campaign. For Food and Drugs Authority, as a regulator, a mandated by the Public Health Act 851 to ensure the safety and quality of food products. As part of executing our mandate, we collaborated strongly with environmental health of the District Assembly in the region to sensitize food vendors, street food vendors. This is a project dear to the heart of FDA, the CEO, and all management. It's a job that has been job that is being done by environmental health officers. Where as a collaborator and support, we want to ensure that regulation of food and drugs should go to the grassroots. Not necessarily the restaurants, the top bar operators, uh, other big, big restaurants. No. The main objective is no street food permit, no business. That is just the objective. But it, regulation should not be force. Regulation should not be policing. Regulation should be geared towards compliance. Stella Kumejuru is the Volta Regional Environmental Health Officer. And this is not a one-stop something that we are doing. It is an annual event. The permit, the certificate, is supposed to be renewed yearly for the certification. Before we certified a street food vendor, we are looking for certain things. We screen for hepatitis B, we screen for typhoid, we screen for helminthic diseases. Those are some of the diseases that are communicable, that are foodborne. And so when we screen and we realize that a vendor is infected with those diseases, we do not stop there. We do not ask you to stop your business, but we further refer you to a healthcare facility, get yourself treated, and come back into business. By so doing, we are saving the life of that vendor. Most vendors that we screen are not aware that they are infected with those sicknesses. But after the screening, they get to know they are treated and they continue with their business. Some vendors were issued with certificates and Veronica buckets, while the FDA hopes all other vendors operating in each jurisdiction would comply and acquire certifications. Fred Kwame Asai, Joy News. Oh.